All right, welcome back to El Crit Shack. This is episode seven. Uh, we don't have Caleb here today, so I'm doing the intro. Uh, so we have uh, Isaiah playing Winston with us today. Say hey. Hi. <laughs> hey, we have uh, Phil playing Drago today. Yippee ah kaye, mother truckers. All right. So there's two gingerbread houses on one side and one gingerbread house on the other side, but they're like full scale gingerbread houses. Um, can we make an investigation check to see if we can see which path we should definitely take? Uh, it's going to lead us to the Kringles. Sure. As you walk further along, um, there's, you can actually see a green banner that says, he knows when you are sleeping, he knows when you're awake. But there, there's no, there doesn't seem to be anybody on each, like in this section. You're trying to find like an investigation to get to the, trying to figure out which way to go. What, you're try, what are you trying to find that would lead you to where he is? Okay, I'll investigate the uh, gingerbread houses. Like, can I see what they look like on the outside? They look just like gingerbread houses. Mm-hmm. Uh, one, so one of them, there's a, like a really uh, delicious smell coming from that. Uh, the, the one nearest to you on the left. And then there is a, a, a door that is further along. Uh, you can't really hear anything behind this one. Uh, there, it doesn't seem like there's much going on. Uh, there are tracks leading to and from that you guys can see. Uh, the first little section, the first little gingerbread house on the left. And then on the the right side, you can smell a very strange, like, sort of chocolate smell coming through the doorway of this uh, squat gingerbread house. So there's a sweet smell coming from the first one, no smell coming from the second one on the left, and then a faint smell of like hay and chocolate on the right side you guys want to investigate these houses real quick yeah i'm gonna i say we stick together no matter what we do but you lead we'll follow let's go to the nearest one closest to us let's see if we can peek into the window or something okay that was the smelly one probably yeah, the, the sweet. Is the one yeah, the closest one, the sweet one. Uh, so you, you're gonna peer into the window, or are you gonna do it stealthily, or are you just gonna do it? Uh, I'm gonna do a stealth. A stealth. Can I do a stealth roll? Yeah, yeah. got a roll. Yeah, I did a. I did a. I got a four. So I'm a not really roll? stealthy. Yeah. Okay, but you go to peer in this window and. Uh, the window is made out of candy. So like the window itself is made out of candy and then like what's beyond is just candy. So like there, it's a window that's painted on the side of this gingerbread house. It's not an actual window. Hmm. Can I uh, take a bite out of the gingerbread house? Yeah, you can. I get a okay. bite out of a specific spot in the gingerbread house. So I'm just gonna I'm gonna take a bite out of the uh, candy window. <laughs> okay, to be able to look into it. Yeah. All right. Uh, you bite <laughs> a hole in this gingerbread house, and uh, you're gonna gain. Three HP as you bite into this uh, gingerbread house that. It, <laughs> is tasty in front of you and then uh you peek in and there seems to be all these bags of sugar cinnamon and some unknown materials all piled in boxes and shelves and there's seven plates that lie on a table uh in this room that seem to hold like there's it looks like there's a cookie on each of these plates all right guys there's not really much in this room. It's just a bunch of like candy and food and whatnot. Hmm. How did the house taste? Amazing. 
Well, what do you think we should do? Winston's gonna break a piece off the house and eat it. Okay. <laughs> I was trying, trying to decide whether or not that's it. metagaming. Nah, no, you take three points of uh, HP too. As or you gain three points of HP too, as you break off a piece of your this house to eat it. All right, so I motion the guys, and we're gonna go into this house to see if we can go in. And there's nobody in there, so we're just nope. gonna go through the front just door. A bunch of bags of like flour and sugar and some other stuff uh, that you're not sure about what it is, and then there's seven plates on this table with. A cookie on each of these plates. All right, so I'm gonna go through the front door. I motion right. the guys to follow me. Yeah, I'm following him. All right. And uh, we're gonna start investigating the rooms, uh, looking through the bags and stuff. You want to make an investigation roll? Uh, <laughs> you sure? I mean, we'll both be, we're both looking around. You can do that. You know? Yeah, let's let's roll for investigation. Both One of, of you can help the I got, other with the roll. I got a five. Can you do that. Okay. I, I got a... <laughs> I'm glad my investigation is high. Because I got a 15. <laughs> Alright, so you're not... Uh, you're not really sure what he, all these materials are in here. Like the different uh, ingredients that are like in these boxes. But... You can tell there's something going on, like this table with these cookies, just the layout seems weird, and the cookies on these plates seem strange to you. Mm. Elias, you ever seen anything like this? This is, this is all very new to me. I, I didn't even know other realms existed, and this whole place is just like... I, I thought this was just a tree. Are we inside the tree now? I don't even know. You don't know of any of these ingredients right here? I mean... Well, that one looks like cinnamon to me. Yeah, there's cinnamon, which I'm highly allergic to, so I'm going to stay away from that. Uh, then there's sugar, uh, maybe some flour. These ones, I don't know. I mean, this whole place doesn't seem to exist, but... I have no connection to magical sources. Is there anything magical about this area? Can you guys feel anything with that? You want to make an Arcana check, Winston? Yeah, I can. I got a four. But since, since we came in a portal, I'm going to say there's something slightly magical about it. <laughs> All right. Other than that, I can't tell much. Uh, let's go check out the other, the other one. Said so the cook, uh, Winston. What'd you roll? <laughs> Four. Uh, yeah. So you, you're just like this is a glorious, glorious uh, place that's magical, but you're not sure what's magical about it. <laughs> All right. So our, what are you guys doing? Uh, we're gonna go check out the uh, other two gingerbread houses. Okay, so there's one further down on the left, and there's one across on the right. Okay, so we'll go to the one that's closest, which is probably the one across on the right. So the one further on the left is probably closer, because you're on the left, and that one's on the oh, right. Oh, yeah, that's right. So we'll go to the left one. Is that the chocolate hay one? No, that's the one that's, uh, the one that doesn't smell at all. Okay, so we'll go to that one. Alright, so the door to this building is locked when you go get up to that door. Um, there are candy, candy cane bars on the gingerbread window holes, so this one does have windows. And there's a single cage that takes up half the room, and it contains a wide-eyed gnome with bright green hair that is just like in this single cell. cell. Okay. So I'm gonna... Uh try to bust the door down. Is it made of candy? Yeah, it's made of candy. Everything's made of candy. Okay. Well, I'm gonna... I'm gonna break the door like doorknob okay. to make it swing open. Alright, roll a strength uh, strength check for me. Okay. 
I'm just trying to bust down this door. Ooh, natural 20. Alright, so this, this door explodes off its hinge and like lands on the ground and just shatters all the cookie parts fall like are in pieces all over the ground and this person that's in the in the cell uh, is like Ugh! what what are you what are you doing here uh, are you are you going to rescue me please tell me you're here to rescue me who are you of course we are uh, i came here to investigate my uh my clan's disappearance uh that, that kringle has something to do with it i'm sure We'll help you find your clan if you help us take out Kringle. Um, I, I don't know how much help I could be. I'm not very, I'm not much of a fighter, but... Will you fight with us? Yeah. Or will you die uh, alone? Yeah, but, uh, I can get you to him. Would you like to get to him? I, I can get you to him. Would that help? You know where yeah. he is. I mean, you go through the the archway at the end but there's a riddle that i haven't seemed to figure out and then i got pri imprisoned here before i could figure it out what is this place tell us everything you know this is like the the workshop for it for uh the kringles and then uh they have security measures which are uh different clues and things like that uh that's a puzzle to get into the the portal. The portal only opens if you eat the right cookie. But I haven't determined which is the right cookie. First room. What's your name? It's Dave Grinch. My name is Dave Grinch. Alright, Dave. I'm gonna let you out of this cell. No funny business. Alright? I'm, I'm, I'm not funny. <laughs> There's nothing about me that's funny. I just... I, I'm looking for my clan. Uh, they've gone missing. If you could help, that would be awesome. Alright. I unlocked the cell to let Dave out. Alright. And Dave walks out to uh, rendezvous with you guys. And he's just like, Now, I have I have this hint, but I can't make heads or tails of the hint. If you guys want to look it over. Okay. Yeah. And there's this... And he has like this parchment that he is like... There's like some blood on it, but it it says two among our number are just plain tasty treats, but three of us will mess you up and knock you off your feet. Choose unless you wish to wait here forevermore to help you in your choice. We give you these clues for one. However, slyly the bad ones try to hide. You can always find one sitting on a plain cookies left side Two. There's a difference in those stood at either side, but when you're seeking to move forward, neither is your friend. 3. As you see clearly, they're all different shapes and sizes, but neither star nor moon are filled with bad surprises. And finally, the second left and the second right are twins once you taste them, though different at the first sight. Hmm. Alright, take us to these cookies. Okay, so he takes you and he shows you the plate full of cookies. Do you yeah, see the plate full house? of cookies? Yes. Do you see the plate full of cookies? Yes. Yeah. Okay. I mean, he says these. Are, this is. You eat the right one, and you you can go through the portal, and it'll actually take you to the, to where Kringle is. Winston goes up and eats a moon. You eat the moon? Yes. So as soon as you Wait, eat Winston, it, you don't... feel like that you are like 100% sure this is the cookie that you need to eat. I eat more cookies. I just start <laughs> eat, I just keep eating the same ones. The moon cookies? Yes. Are you going to share it with anybody else? <laughs> yeah, I'll leave one for each person, but I take the rest cuz they're pretty good. Okay. Yeah, the moon They're cookies. Like the, yeah, moon cookies. Alright, <laughs> yeah, and so the moon cookies, uh, as you've eaten your fill of these moon cookies, and whenever you do walk back outside, instead of seeing just a plain portal, you can see, it's almost like your eyes have been open, and you see a glistening uh, red portal that's, like, filled the archway. Uh... 
Draga. Let's go. Mr. Grinch, has this happened before? Uh, no, I'm I'm kind of uh, not the smartest, and I could not figure out that riddle to save my life. Uh, yeah, I had it kind of figured out before you showed me the plate. How so? Uh, you said something about the second from the right and second from the left, and that kind of finished it all for me. I was kind of certain be- next to the plain one, but then it kind of threw me off that there wasn't a plain one. I mean, I'm sure some of them are plain. That's but the true. Mean ones are, in, are, are, I guess, the right answer to the riddle. Uh, <laughs> good, good job, uh, I guess. <laughs> Yeah, I knew it had to be something with the moon and the stars. Like, could he say the moon and the stars? I'm like, okay. If there's any cookies with stars on them or moons, that's the ones we need to eat. Some of them would cause you to take a D4 of psychic, uh, of intelligence damage. Does is there, are there any star cookies? Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. Is that my lip Playing D&D. Can you see the star? The star cookies. Yeah. So that. So, how did you know the moon ones were the ones to eat? Because he said second from the left. Oh yeah. Okay. So that was. There's something. Be... Something like that. It. Uh, this is kind of what I was envisioning, but I was gonna look for plain ones, and then to the left for the plain ones, but there wasn't that. So then I just went for a second from the left, because that's the other thing I remembered. Yeah. So there's, yeah, the pine, the, all of these cookies would have maybe done something different, each of them done, but you chose the right one as soon as Good it job, happened. man. Good job, Winston. <laughs> Good job. Thank like you. He, cracked, he did that quick. Hey, well, if I answered the riddle correctly, and now we're about to fight Santa Claus. Wait, what? I answered the riddle correctly, and now we're about to fight Santa Claus. We just kicked Frosty's butt. Yeah. All right. What are you, so? What are you guys? What are you doing? Are you just going straight through the portal, or are you gonna investigate this spot any further? What, how's it going? Uh, we're gonna Drago motions to. Uh, we need to investigate that one, the last gingerbread house, just to make sure there's no gold in it. Because how many times did we? Yeah. This is the opportunity to make some gold. Yep. Let's go look in those other two gingerbread houses. You guys definitely burned a wagon full of gold last time. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. And the thing is, if Winston would have seen it, he wouldn't have done that. Yep. You did see it. No. I didn't see Oh, I saw the ch- wagon Okay, first. I saw the chests and stuff. But yeah. had I known the contents, it would have been really more, hard for him to not do that. Is it worse that. if I tell you? Or should I just never tell you when you, what you miss out on? It's, fun. Uh, it's, it's worse, fun when you tell us. It's worse when you tell us it's hilarious. Okay. Like that ornate door at the end of the because last one was I like, like we, we yeah. would have died. Yeah, and I feel uh, like yeah. we're, we're that group of adventurers. I can't remember what movie or TV show it was, but they were like, we need to get paid. Like, they were doing all this good stuff. Yeah. Saving everybody, but they barely made any money because they always, like, missed the gold. They always okay. missed the gold. Yeah. It's pretty funny. All right. It's kind of like the, kind of like the common, common thing coming on in our group right now. <laughs> we can't make any money. <laughs> For sure. Hey, you got three hundred fifty per person right now. I was gonna say we're we're sitting over a thousand gold right now. We have like a thousand and twelve pieces. Yeah, buddy. I told him. I told him uh, Isaiah that we were, we were highly that we were really pricey, that we're really nice. good at what we do, and that what we caught. I, I kind of gave him the Witcher speech. Nice. You know, and how yeah. great is he at doing persuasion checks? Not great. But Not he great at yeah. That's yeah, so funny, dude. AP. That's awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah we're going to investigate the two. Uh, is there two more? There's one more on the right. Yeah, so we're going to investigate the chocolate hay-, hay smell. Okay. So the closer you get to this house, the more you can hear snoring coming from within. Somebody's in there. Hmm. Multiple somebody's from the sound of the snoring. Alright, so... It could be the elves. 
could Drago. be an army of elves. <laughs> oh, no. Drago, can he look through the window? The candy again. Winston's going to eat another hole in the side, but very, very, very carefully. You're still going to have to do a stealth check to eat a hole in the side of a building. Uh, without dude, this should be easy loud. for you. Okay. You're the vampire. You should be able to be extremely stealthy. 28. Nice! What? How did you even get a 28? Did you roll a natural 20? Natural 20 plus 8. Because nice. I, I have proficiency bonus on that. So you nibble this hole and you're able to like look inside and what you see is this is some sort of stable building based on the hay smell and then the chocolate smell is apparently what they eat. But there are three of the reindeer that were attacking you earlier that are asleep on the floor of this building. Uh, when you look closer, you can actually see that that on, there are shelves in the back of this room and on one of the shelves there is this uh, statue of a reindeer with a ruby nose at the end of it. Oh, snaps. We gotta get that ruby nose. <laughs> <laughs> Winston is like, Winston pulls off the looking and he goes, hmm, I don't know, they're all asleep in there. And then Drago looks in there and sees the nose and he says that. <laughs> like now's right. the time to be greedy. <laughs> what do you I don't do? know. Alright, so uh Drago's going to uh <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> Let's go fight Kringle. Come on man, we gotta get this reindeer statue. Come on, dude. Can you it's sneak? Just... Can you sneak in there and steal it? Uh you're wait, a, hold on, wait, let me you're sneak a in there and steal it. One. Yeah. All right, all right, I'm gonna try to sneak in there and steal it. Hold on, I you, think I can do something about that. Don't you have your teleport? I have to be able to see where <gasps> I can see, but hold on, I also have invisibility because of my thing, my feet. I'm shat because I'm shadow touched. Uh, yeah, that's a spell you can use, right? Yeah, so you're on a natural 20. So I'll say that you can get, if you're going to try to get inside and be invisible and get inside, then yeah. I will I will only make you roll to retrieve this item from the shelf, not to get past these reindeer, and you can roll with advantage since you're invisible. Okay. Oh, that's sweet. I did okay. it. I used my once per long rest ability. Uh, and then, okay, so I'm sneaking in to grab the nose and get out and I'm, in, I'm invisible okay do you, do you have to make a roll does he have to make the roll well, yeah what do i have to what do i have to do to get it you have to roll another stealth check with advantage though since you're invisible it wouldn't be sleight of hand wait sh stealth is fine it's not you're not sleight of handing it out of no anything. you're good you're you don't have to, to convince sure me that you don't make noise 18 and 22 all right, yeah, so you're able to snag this uh, statue without them noticing and to get out of the room uh, and not wake any of them up. How big is this statue? It is, so, it's about, like, yay big. Oh, it's nice. Kind of like, it's like, like golden like idol size. Yeah, it's like a palm-sized statue. That like a six-inch, like. like a six-inch action figure? Uh, a little I come out, that, but not and much. I... I reappear and I hold, I'm holding it in front of Drago like this. Nice. That's what I'm talking about, bro. And is that it? <laughs> I just put it in the back of holding, I guess. Roll, I mean, you roll, can investigate it check further, but yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, yeah, I'll roll Arcana. I'll see if it's magic. I rolled a one. <laughs> Plus two is three. <laughs> Drago, you can roll an Arcana check on it. <laughs> Alright, I'll roll. I'll I give roll, it to Drago. I roll Arcana. Winston's not great at Arcana, apparently. <laughs> so I got a 17. Somehow. I don't know how, but I got a 17. You're magical, too, dude. Uh, dude, but, I have proficiency yeah, in it, too. There's something magical about it, but you're not sure what. Uh, you'll have to use it to figure out what it is. Okay. It's not an entombment item, though. 
And does, does it have an inscription on it? No inscription. It's just you're, you can tap into this power or you cannot. That's your choice. Uh, I'm going <laughs> to tap into this power. Uh, what? So Right here, right now. <laughs> right, now. right here. So you're here and they're by you. And you, the, let's say the room's over here. Okay, can you see this screen? What I'm doing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, which way is Drago facing as he taps into this power? Winston is not in front of the nose, just to be clear. Uh, he's no, standing no, off to the he, side. He's... <laughs> <laughs> no, he's... <laughs> no he, he taps into his power, and he's looking in the direction of... Because when he tossed it to him, you know, I was facing away from the gingerbread because I was kind of keeping a watch. So, uh, I'm looking towards, like, the portal area. Okay. And are, is anybody in front of you? Is, uh, the Grinch no, in front nobody's, of you? No, <laughs> nobody's in front of me. Alright, so you tap into this power and, uh, the nose explodes in this radiant light that shines in this, uh, in this 30 foot cone and if anything was in front of it you'd think it would take a, a good amount of damage and then the nose uh stops glowing after that so you can tell that this is like in a once per long rest probably item holy smokes <laughs> winston goes uh you keep that what don't, don't mind if i do <laughs> <laughs> That's nah, awesome. Nah, nah. Uh, I think it's like Rudolph. <laughs> All right, so you guys have investigated each of these places now, and you did not have to face. They call them pain deer. <laughs> That's what they call them. Pain deer. <laughs> That's world, awesome. Yeah, pain deer. <laughs> Isaiah, good job, man. Look, we got some treasure. Yep, that was, what I mean. Uh, we got something to show Awen when we rescue him. We got something to show Awen. He might want to play with. All right. All right. So we're gonna head to the uh, red portal. To the now. portal. All right. Is there a certain way that you're going through this portal, or are you just going? Uh, I'll go first because I'm the fighter, right. so to speak. And then I would probably say Winston. Yep. Little man, and then Elias will probably be in the back. All right. So, in front of you, uh, there is uh, a oh. huge and unbelievably huge room, <laughs> right? Uh, Santa or Kringle is facing this away, right, in this room, and he is uh, sitting cross legged in the circle and he's meditating. All of these. Uh, gnomes that are around them, these elves around them, are meditating. Okay, uh, there is a jar, a glass like mason jar, but it's huge in the far right corner of the room, and it is filled with uh, the town's folks' children. Uh, there are presents beside it. Uh, there are a few Christmas trees throughout the room, and there is a cage in one of the corners as well. All right, and there. Are there are a few gnomes. I call them gnomes because elves are different, in, you know, in this world. Yeah, no, yeah, mm -hmm. that makes so, sense, yeah. But then uh, there's a few gnomes over here, too, just kind of standing guard by the children. But they're, all the gnomes that are sitting in this, in this circle around Kringle are, have all, like, this glow about them. And he is glowing as well as oh, you enter no. this room. What do you I look do? at um, I look at Dave. Hey Dave, I whispered. Hey Dave, are this is are you this trying your to plan? be sneaky? But yeah, yeah. I'm just, just you know, because he's not too far behind. We're we're all together. So I'm just okay. like looking at him, like giving him emotion, like, is this your clan? You know, are these guys your clan? Uh, he nods at the same time that Santa turns around because. I mean, who are you guys kidding? It's Santa. He knows when you're sleeping. He knows when you're awake. I mean, he sees you as soon as you enter the room and says, Winter Miss isn't till tomorrow, children. Why are you here? Well, uh... Why? 
Why are you stealing all the kids from the town? Exactly. Oh, 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 you'll have to find that out tomorrow, my friends. Uh, good. You know, uh, winter miss is a day of laughter, as it were, you know, uh, a great place uh, for for happiness and joy. And I mean, I, look at me. I'm jolly and red. What I heard anything. Those yeah, kids don't look too happy in that jar. Matter of fact, my brother's right. You see this sword here? And it's full of flames. Drago looks at him and says, I hear you shake like a bowl full of jelly. <laughs> <laughs> That's amazing. Also, uh, you, Winston, since you said that about the jar, how about you roll perception on the jar? Oh, yeah, good job. Now, why don't you give us back these kids? Bro, I make you shake Five. like a bowl of jelly. Uh, you can't even see them. Like the kid, like you see blobs of kids, but you can't really tell. <laughs> okay. Inside there. All right. Uh, there's also a desk in this back corner too. I forgot to mention that. But he said, "So what'd you say?" I said, "Release these kids now, Kringle, or we're gonna make you shake like a bowl full of jelly." And he says, "Bad news." You're on the naughty list. I was always on the naughty list, you twerp. <laughs> and uh, roll some initiative. Come on, Drago. <laughs> oh, is it my turn? Yeah, there's no way you can do worse than me. Uh, natural 20! <laughs> yes! 20, 23! Yes! Alright, so as... So, Kringle is gonna run. Is gonna start sprinting towards you. And he is... He's huge, okay? But you're gonna have a chance to attack him before he gets to So, deep. you're saying he's huge. Are you meaning like he's wide or he's tall? Both. Both. <laughs> so, could you kind of give us a, a like a... a for yeah, listening? give us a like, physical description. Give, give us a physical description. As, of this, uh, as big as that. he looks on roll 20, he's like, I'm gonna say like five feet wide and, and like nine feet tall. He's not a oh, normal dude. Holy yeah. smokes. Look at the giant. Yes. Man. All right. And let's, yeah, and he's rushing you. What do you do? All right, so I'm gonna, I, for a bonus action, am going to use my Crimson Right, and I'm going to take a 4D damage to reuse my Hemocraft It's Hemo a D6 die. now, remember? Oh, that's right. It's a D6. Because your so, damage goes up, too. Yep. Alright. Uh, so that's two damage. And then um, now it's got fire and ice capabilities. And nice. then for an action, which one more, with one action, I'm going to attack him. And does a 17 hit. A 17 hit? Yeah. Uh, yeah, that's gonna hit him. Okay. So you're running, to he's running towards you and you're gonna meet him like mid sprint as he's running. Right? Okay. Is that what's gonna happen? Because he's like yep. running this way towards you guys and you're coming up and running towards him and like lighting your sword up with ice and flame. Yeah, so he's going to take uh, two points of damage of fire and four points damage of ice. Uh, what about the other uh, the ten. regular sword attack? Ten damage. So 19 altogether? Yeah. Okay. All right, so you're going to, so it's going to be like a cool action sequence where he's running, sprinting towards you, you're sprinting towards him. And you like cross, bring your sword out and slice him across your belly. And then I'm gonna say, you know what I want for Santa, uh, for Christmas, Santa? Your head on a plate. That's just rude. He's gonna take a legendary action and he's going to just swing his belly around that you just smacked him, <laughs> just slashed him with. And you're gonna have to roll to dodge. <laughs> Rota dodge out of the way of his belly as he swings it around to smack you with it. Dude, 
he's probably gonna hit me pretty hard too. Uh, I, I rolled an 18. An 18? Yeah. Uh, that's gonna be enough to miss. So he comes, he brings his belly around to smack you, and you're able to like matrix move back out of the way as you slice across him. So like it's like you guys meet, and he's trying to attack you back, and he misses you. Uh, Winston, your turn. All right, I'm going to evoke a flame dagger Sweet. and make a melee attack with it. Uh, does Santa have his back turned to me now? Did like when he swung to him, or like uh, I can make it? I can make a melee attack on Santa, right? Yeah, you can. Yeah. But if, all right, I, that's if, what I'm gonna do. If you're trying to sneak attack, you're like get yeah, some kind of advantage on him. No, no, no. He, I was just wondering. He knows. He knows when you've been sleeping. He knows when you're awake. He knows. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I got a 25 to hit. Nice. Yeah, that's gonna hit Santa. Great job. You you hit Santa Claus. 36. <laughs> uh, nine fire damage. All right. Uh, and then Elias is also gonna come up and do a swing at Santa with his great sword. Oh, he rolled a nat 20. Nice. nice. <laughs> So he does, uh, he brings his great sword down on Santa's, like, shoulder, and he takes a nice chunk out of Santa's shoulder as he does, uh, 21 points of damage. That was awesome. That's awesome. Right. Uh, but now it's Santa's turn. And so for his, so his first action, uh, Santa is going to... Uh, he's going to use his spell, and it's just so I can tell you how hilarious this is. It's called Naughty or Nice, and anybody <laughs> that damaged Santa in the last turn is going to take 11 points of damage. So it's a first <laughs> spell. <laughs> oh no! Yeah, that's free. That's a that's a good spell. Yeah. So he picks up a gnome that is like over in the corner of the room near the glass uh, mason jar thing. That is this huge mason jar. And he picks him up with his mind and he causes him to collide with Winston. Uh, roll to dodge, Winston. Nine. Oh, that's gonna hit. So this gnome collides with you and might knock you off your feet. But you're gonna take six points of damage from this gnome as it hits you in the face. All right, and now it's Winston's turn. All right, uh, not Winston's it's turn. It's Drago's turn. Hey Kringle. Hmm. I'm the heat miser. Whatever I touch, starts to melt in my clutch. <laughs> I'm too much. <laughs> Oh, come on. The year without a Santa. And I'm going to attack him That's twice awesome. with my flaming tongue. Oh, dude. Right. Uh, does a 10 hit on the first attack? No, it does not. Uh, what about a 16? 16 doesn't hit either. Oh, so I don't hit him at all. Uh, you hit him, but he is able to... Uh, uh, definitely use his belly to redirect both of your blows to where it just shinks off of you. Damn, Kringle. You're using that right. belly for a parry attack? And then what he does is he's going to bring his belly down on top of you and say, all you're going to want for winter miss is your two front teeth and you got to roll to dodge as he's bringing his belly down on top of you. <laughs> 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 that was dope. That was a good one, Lyman. Oh. I got a 14. Shit. I think I'm going to miss him. Yeah, you're going to hit this time. Alright, you're going to take... Let's see. You're going to take 15 points of belly damage as he smacks oh. this into you. Okay. Right, it's in your turn. I got two. I got two health left. Two HP left. 
Oh dang. You uh, guys have potions? I'm gonna strike him again with my flame blade. I still have it up. Flame dagger. Alright. 21 to hit. That'll hit him. Uh, and you're, yeah, you're sinking this blade deep into it, and his, his blood is uh, spilling freely. Yeah. Uh, so, eight fire damage, and then mm -hmm. I'm also going to uh, tell Santa, I'm going to be like, your houses taste good. I wonder if you do, and I'm going to bite into his big old belly. Mm. Do you have to roll to attack that again, or is it... Yeah, I do. There's a, okay. a 20 to hit. Oh, okay. Seven piercing. Alright, it's Elias' this turn, so he's going to roll to attack. Mm, I think he misses. Let's see. Yeah, he's going to miss, too. Son of a... Alright. But... So for his first action, he's going to do his little round, uh, it's called Naughty or Nice again. And so oh anybody, that damaged him, uh, anybody that's damaged uh, him takes nine points of damage. Oh no, uh, dude. Well, I did not damage him last time. Oh dude, this is like the double-edged sword for him. That's so awesome right now, for you. I have one hit point. You're on his nice list, so you get four uh, health le uh, back, Drago. Oh, I do? Yeah. <laughs> uh, dude, oh, that's, that's awesome. That's hilarious. That's a naughty or nice. That's dope. All right. And then, let's see. This is going to be totally random. I'm I'm one, two. Drago, you're three, four. And Winston's five, six. All right, Drago, roll a charisma saving throw for me. Okay. Oh, that's the worst one. Oh, dude, I got a five. Okay, so Drago, this turn. Uh, well, let's just see what happens on your turn. Uh, you're first, right? So we'll go ahead yeah. and roll to attack. Uh, actually, I was going to use a, an action to uh, wolf out. <laughs> okay. So I'm you gonna wolf. Into wolf out. Yeah, I'm gonna turn into the werewolf. As a bonus and... action? Yeah. Alright, you can still attack. Okay. So I'm gonna attack him. Uh... Twice. Ooh, 25 hit. Uh, let me check. Oh, you're lucky. Yeah, it's gonna hit, but you're gonna hit Elias. Winston, you're really lucky. I rolled randomly for this too. Oh my gosh! And then a 17. Does that hit? That doesn't hit Elias. Okay. So roll for damage. Yep. <sighs> Cause I'm using my sword. Mm hmm. So that's 22 damage. 22 damage on a yeah. last. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> he's not feeling Cause great. Fire, Cause he's using a, he's using a, he's using a sword. So it's got the fire and ice. Yep. Okay. Winston, it's your turn. Okay. Oh wait, um, actually, uh, wait, before I draw, go roll another Chris as a save throw, you can roll it at the end of your turns. Roll another one? Yeah. Okay. Damn it. The two. <laughs> okay. All right. What are you doing, Winston? Uh, I'm gonna retreat and use my health potion. Okay. And it's it's only the common one, right? So how much does that do? Did we say uh, it's ten, it's... or is it like two D four plus four? Uh, yeah, it's two D four plus four. Okay. Uh, let me roll. Okay, 11 back. That's all I'm doing. Alright, and then while you're doing that, Elias looked really confused that you hit him, but then he's been around enough stuff to realize 
what that means. Ooh. That's the second natural 20 Elias has had today. On oh, Saturday, I think. sweet. Nice. And that is going to cause him to lose concentration on you, Drago. Oh, sweet. Awesome. So you're, you're, you're your own person again. Uh, but nice. It's, his, it's Santa's turn, so he's going to one smack uh, Elias with the belly bump. Uh, let's see if Elias is still up. He might not be. Oh, he is barely. Elias is not looking good. And then he is going to swirl into the, in like this uh, glitterly like tinsel mist, like disappear. And there's like tinsel poof that comes out of him and he reappears right here. And now it's Drago's turn. Okay, I'm using my second wind howl as a bonus right. action. <coughs> Go ahead and roll for that. That's for everybody. Okay, so everybody gets 12 hit points. <laughs> nice, hit points dude. Back. Yeah. Needed that. That's right, why I turned yeah. into wolf form. Because I knew like we all needed a heal. Alright, and you did need that because he's uh, right next to you if you didn't notice Winston. Which means I that just, he's been a... I just did. <laughs> yeah, that was his second action. But now he's going to use his legendary action to belly bump you. So oh, roll God. the dodge. <laughs> that damn belly. <laughs> it's Come on. 15 uh, to dodge. Full jelly. It's full of jelly, dude. <laughs> I rolled a 15. Uh, ooh, he, he needed a... Uh, if you had rolled a 14, he would have... Uh, gotcha. But you rolled a 15, so he misses you. You're able to like sidestep his belly full of jelly. <laughs> and it's your turn too. Okay. Um, I'm gonna stab into him with my spear. Okay. Oh, nice. 27 to hit. That definitely hits. <laughs> and 9 damage. 9 damage? Yes. Oh. With a. And it's gonna leave a booming wound. Okay. So if he moves, it's not going to be great for him, but he doesn't know that. Right. Alright, and it's Elias' turn. So what he's going to do, actually, is kind of patch up Drago while he's over here. Okay. Alright. And then, Drago, you and, uh, you're going to take, you're going to get 12 points back of HP, too, again. Nice. But then both you and Elias need to roll to dodge out of the way as no missiles are coming down and smacking you. So these so gnomes, you they're being telepathically lifted and crashing down on your head. I got a 17. That's going to make it. Elias is going to take this gnome right to the face, though, as it comes smacking down into him. And he is, uh, he's got four left, by the way. All right, Winston, uh, or Drago, it's your turn, then Winston's turn. Okay, it's my turn? Yep. Okay, so I'm gonna turn, I don't know, I'm not gonna be uh, able to go to him fast enough. You're close now, yeah. So can I get, can I get to Santa? Yeah. All right. So now I'm going to attack Santa. Does a that cracks me up. Eighteen. <laughs> Especially that is nine yep. foot tall, Santa. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Does a nineteen hit? Yep. Both of those hit. Oh, I'm about to rack up on some points. Oh my gosh, so it's a 15. Alright, Ty, you're gonna have to keep track. It's 15 and a 12. 27. Alright, now I gotta roll for the ice and fire. Alright. 7. 3d6, right? Yep. 
Seven and eight, eight. So twenty-seven plus eight. How much damage I just did this? The Kringle. And seven. All right, so thirty-five total. Yes. <laughs> okay, Winston, it's your turn. As this blade cuts deep and leaves this nasty, uh, gooey wound on uh, Santa's chest. I'm gonna, stab, I'm gonna stab him with my spear yet again. Uh, 23 to hit, and then so that's nine damage, nine piercing, mm -hmm. and then uh, I'm also going to bite him because he tasted so so sweet last time. So I'm going to take another chunk out of Santa Belly, and it tastes oh so good, and I'm oh so in bloodlust. 19 hit. Yeah, that's gonna hit. And he has to roll, right, to save? Yeah, it's a 15. I think you rolled a natural 20 last time and I rolled a natural 20 this time. It's like the only time I've rolled natural <laughs> Okay. So he does not take any necrotic then? No, but he uh, falls to his knees, right? And he is... Uh, he cannot lift his hands to fight anymore. Uh, but as he falls to his knees, uh, all the gnomes that are around the room, uh, creepy smiley scream out and explode with this energy that was, uh, like building up within them. Uh, Santa cries out from his knees and explodes outward with this energy that was surrounding him. And in the place of these gnomes and, uh, Wait, Santa... They, they... This isn't a, something you can counterspell, is it? No, not at all. I mean, this is like <laughs> okay. Uh, I was crazy, wondering. Yeah, yeah. Energy. this is like a ritual. Definitely, if you had interfered with the or messed with the gnomes, it might not have happened. But these, so all of the gnomes, I uh, transform, and Santa transforms, and in their place. You guys can see what this looks like. Kringle is no more. Kringle has turned into uh, this character that's covered in fur and has claws and horns spouting from his head. And all He's Krampus the, and gremlins. And all of the n gnomes, the peaceful looking gnomes, are now uh, very much gremlin-y. And you oh, have, no. you're, all, you're all frozen in place. And they just growl at you, and he growls at you, and then he leaves the room. And they follow you them out, and then your like faculties return to you. So like you were frozen by whatever he was doing to you, but then instead of just killing you and finishing you off, he just leaves you. What? So him and all of the gremlins are gone from this room. And the children are in the glass mason jar. The I look at Draga and I say... Him. Peace out. Where is Awen? I don't know. It's crazy. Yep. Oh, I'm still in war form, so I can't really talk. You can talk enough, like you right? Can growl talk. Yeah, you can yeah growl where's talk. A1? Oh, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> Elias, what should we do? I, I mean, there's a bunch of children trapped in this jar. We should definitely uh, break them out. And then I don't know why they're leaving, but nothing good can come from it. We should probably search the area and then head back to town. I'm worried for the town. Yeah, let's do that. Alright, so who's where, who's breaking, trying to break the kids out? Who's searching the room? What are you guys doing? I'll look around the room. Alright. Uh, roll an investigation check for me. Drago, are you going to try to break the 15 mason jar thing? Yeah, I'm gonna go up to the mason jar and, and like, you know, use my wolf powers to sniff it and 
see if I can break it. Uh, you're thinking that you can probably smash this if you try hard enough. Okay. I'm gonna roll a strength check on it. Alright. Oh, I got a nine. Alright, you there's cracks that you splinter through it, um, that but you don't break it this try. Um Winston, there's a cage in this corner of the room that as you investigate there's some letters and a glowing orb on the table here. Okay. So whichever one you want to investigate first. Uh I'll look at the cage first. Alright, there is a half starved uh it looks like some sort of a uh, pup, but it's like a, it looks sort of like a wolf from your world, but it looks too big to be a pup wolf uh, from your world. But you can tell this is like a baby wolf, but uh, it's not the size of a baby wolf. Yeah. Winston is really drawn to this thing. And he, I look for a way to break the box open or to get it at, like to try to pick the lock. Roll like a just like straight dexterity for me. Uh, from the top modifier. Yeah. Oh, nice. I rolled eighteen, so twenty-three. All right, you're able to figure out. It's not a lock, but it's just a, a, a okay. series of like latches and stuff, and you're able to like open it up. Uh, John, okay. Do you want to try to smash this again as this is going? Yeah. On? Yeah, I want to try to smash the, uh, I'm going to do a strength check again. Okay. All right, this time I got a 17. All right, yeah, you smash it, and all these children are inside, and they just seem super out of it. And uh, amidst all of them, uh, Eowyn's there, too. Very oh, out of it. Nice. I look Is he healthy? Looks uh, I look his eyes just seeming really <laughs> depressed and not happy in the slightest um yeah he doesn't look okay. like he's like physically yeah i look at winston yeah. and i give him like a i give him like a uh, like a bark oh oh like uh, uh, okay <laughs> i run i run over there to check on a1 to see how he is okay. and then i show uh show drago and a1 my the little wolf like look at this thing what do you think it is all right, are you gonna try to like pick it up? Yeah. Like, try to get it out of the cage. Uh, yeah, yeah I'm gonna try to carry. Is it pre is it pretty big? Healing. Okay. Uh, it's not crazy big. So and immediately, like, Drago gets on all fours and he starts smelling it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and with that, like Drago being in wolf form, you can roll like with advantage on your animal handling. Okay. okay, I got a 14 on the first one. Okay. And a 15 on the second one. What you needed for it to be able to, like, not think you're going to hurt it or mistreat it. And so it, like, limps out to you all. Nice. So I got a natural 20 on my <laughs> animal. animal. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> yes. Yeah, uh, so it's... Yeah, it's just like kind of like whimpering each time it like steps, but it, it is trying to like walk up to you. Kind of look in the bag of holding for any food or anything. Yeah, I'm sure you have some kind of rations in there that you could give it. Yeah, to. I'll give it like a little, you know, like a little snacky snack. Mm -hmm. And even though it's in pain, it starts eating it and its tail starts to wag a little bit as it like... Because it's like starving, like it had not eaten mm -hmm. in a while. You can see its ribs, that kind of thing. It's been mistreated, but it's grateful for the food that you've given it. Okay, well now that we have Awen back, uh, let's search the desk and then decide on our next course of action. Okay. All right. So there's a glowing orb on the desk. Um, that's for sure magical. Uh, and then there's one letter that is like clearly placed on the desk as if like it was just read before you guys got here. Uh, are you still in wolf form? You want me to read it? 
Yeah, yeah I'm still one for him, so... Okay. I'll, I'll yeah, pick up the letter and read it. You have done well. Continue to sow the seeds of chaos, Brother Klaus. Send the dragon to Yartar. The mystic energy in its blood has more than enough power to trigger the incineration of Terra. Curious that that group was so magically gifted. Leave this letter for them to find. Hello there, Winston, Drago, and Awen. You may, of course, toy with them to ensure the dragon makes his way without hindrance to Yartar, but leave them alive in case we must drain them too. P.S. This ritual will give you the strength to destroy your enemies and competitors and to avenge your fallen wife. Bane, the one true god of Terra. And that's where we'll end our session. Oh, oh shit! <laughs> oh. Oh. Hold on. Does Caleb know? Uh, I, no, he doesn't know. <laughs> oh no! We got Gur kidnapped, bro. Oh my god. Give it to him. I you should put it in the chat, the group chat. <laughs> yes, you should. <laughs> He's gonna be so pissed. <laughs>